This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. A dream is just a great idea that doesn't have a website yet. Make it a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a unique website, showcase your work, blog, publish content, even sell products and services of all kinds in just a few clicks of the mouse, my dear boy. With 24-7 award-winning customer support, you can customize everything from look and feel to settings and products using beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And there is nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. She's a dogger in the streets and a logger in the sheets, and by that I mean she's a werewolf who shits the bed. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang, that uh, Colfax McLiverneck returns to uh, doing our catchphrases. Uh, welcome back. Comedy Bang Bang for another week. This is exciting. April, uh, uh, these are no April Fools for this show. We have an exciting show. Uh, Scott Ackerman, I am your host. Uh, coming up, we have uh, from... Movies and television, uh, actor John Hamm uh, will be here. Actor John Hamm. Uh, actor, actor John. My actor, first name is Actor. Oh, he is here. Yeah. Yes, Actor John Hamm. Do you know, by the way... Uh, a terrible his, first name. What was his name? <laughs> Something... Uh, Justin Actor? Do you know Justin <laughs> Actor? <laughs> No. Well, okay. Well, like he's, a great, all, he's a great. He's a great. I actor. think we all know Justin <laughs> Actor. Uh, so John is here. Welcome to the, welcome back to the show, John. Oh, it's so nice to be here. Uh, new film Beirut coming out this Friday. Yes. Uh, uh, it will be. It will be uh, coming out. It will be seen. Yes, it will be it will, enjoyed. Uh, people's eye receptacles will be. <sighs> They're uh, going to be filled with the sights and sounds. Of a political thriller set in the 70s. Would you suggest that people... The 1870s. Ooh, the 1870s, really? In Beirut. <laughs> really? No. When it wasn't a city-state really? or part of Lebanon. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the poster here and you're wearing sunglasses. Well, you're right then. I'm sorry. It was. It's in the 1970s. <laughs> oh, it's in the 1970s. I was okay. confused. By the way, is sunglasses on a poster, does that automatically mean the 1970s? Probably. Like the poster for vinyl. Do you Had remember that television show? There were definitely <laughs> there, sunglasses. I believe that was Bobby Cannavale with sunglasses Just with on. a big sepia toned set mm -hmm. of sunglasses. Yeah. Um Barry, would you do you think it would be a great way to watch a movie uh reflected in someone's sunglasses? No. Okay. I think it would be a terrible way to watch A it would be backwards. And you That's if true. it had subtitles you would have to read them backwards and you can't. That's true. Are there uh, subtitles No one can do that Beirut? except for Leonardo da Vinci. Um, <laughs> I think he can read subtitles backwards in sunglasses. Uh, it's a shame that he was not around to see movies with subtitles. I think he might have invented sunglasses, though. Really? Whoa. Da, da Vinci invented the helicopter. Did he invent UV the protection? The elevator. He invented ultraviolet protection. He, well, wow. at least he knew it was bad for you. <laughs> right. So he knew sunglasses were bad for you. No, that you, ultraviolet he invented, radiation was yes, bad for you. But so he invented sunglasses, sunglasses without UV protect, well, it protection. Was, it was difficult. It was, mm -hmm. of course, Renaissance Italy. Remember all those years you wore sunglasses without UV protection? Remember all those years you wore sunglasses and didn't watch people's movies in them? Remember those years, but now everything is different. You can do it. <laughs> what if someone were to watch Beirut on a phone reflected in someone's sunglasses? Would that be a good way to watch it? I think it would break the internet. <laughs> Have you ever broken the internet, by the way? Just when Kim Kardashian put that thing on her tushy. Yeah, my boner was, it just broke it my broke screen. The, yeah, no, I've never broken the, I, I'd love to break the internet. I wish the internet would break and go away. <laughs> well, then uh, this podcast would not exist, and I, I think the price to would be fair, too high. I think we, this one, that we're safe. This part of the internet, this corner, the CBB. This is okay. The Earwolf Corner. This is okay. That would be the one corner you would we keep. We would keep that corner. Okay, just keep that corner. Let's keep the sensible, funny, nice, sure. friendly, fun corners of the internet. But, you know, there can't just be one corner of something. You need at least three corners if you you're in a pyramid, four. you know? 
You're right. All right. So what other keep corners the of the keep the porn? Okay, porn and comedy bang bang universe. Then that's two. That's two. Two points establish a line. That's all we need. The internet can have, is. A can series. you have two corners? I mean, maybe if it were no. I mean, I don't I think guess you not. Could. You're you're. Well, you need at well, least hold three. Hold on. I guess it's yeah. You need three. Uh, we need one just more corner. Having a corner, you you make yeah. another corner. Yeah. What's so, the third corner? Third corner. Um, I'm gonna say iBooks. iBooks. So all books or just uh, books that are in the iBook format. Well, yeah, or ebooks. What's the right word? Uh, right ebooks term? probably. Audible.com is a sponsor Audible. occasionally. Fine. Just Audible. Go. We yes. just keep Audible. What about? But you may need Squarespace. Uh, in order to make websites. Two, right, you know. Yeah, so we'll, four spots. corners. Let's keep the four. <laughs> Let's keep the four. Audible, <laughs> Squarespace. Porn and Comedy Bang Bang. Then again, LegalZoom.com. Son of a gun. <laughs> now we're in a whole Pentagon <laughs> We're in a Pentagon. But that's okay. I like being in I the Pentagon. I don't mind that. Right? You ever visited the Pentagon? These are good questions, right? I have never been to the Pentagon. You've never been there? I've seen it. Not I've e- driven by it. It's imposing. It's, uh, uh, you never know what side you're on. You know what I mean? You're like, exactly. I think I'm on the front side. And then you're like, oh no, I'm Or on. is it the back? Yeah, I don't know. Is there a front or back of a Pentagon? I think it would be interesting if this. The point has to be the front. The Staples Center were a Pentagon. I think that would be cool. There's there no, should be more Pentagons. There should be more well, Pentagon yeah, buildings. It's, there, it is a great, because you're, you're right. What's the point? Yeah. Literally. Literally. And there should be more pyramid hotels like the Luxor. The Luxor. Like they, they make the Luxor and then everyone is like, this, For a hot this place second, is. Everyone's like, this is amazing. This is this place rules. And then they realize like staying in a in a pyramid is probably not fun. Also, probably literally you're kind of leaning at an angle. Probably every, a waste of space so too. Much wasted space. Like the air rights to that. It's terrible. Like, there's is, but at the Luxor, is there one room at if the very there top? Isn't, then That's what a is the fucking opportunity? Point? I would love to stay there. If you're listening, if the Luxor people David are listening, David and Louise Luxor, if you're listening, John and I want to take a trip to Las Vegas. We uh, on you. We we only on you. We only need it for seven nights. That's only, all we need it. Only a week. Only a week. There's One week. Fifty-two of them in a year. Yeah. Deal with it. Yeah. Fifty-one other weeks. You get that you can sell this room. Twelve feet of hilarity. Yes. To Wait, stay I, in the... I'm 6'2". What are you, 5? I'm six, You're not 6'2". You're I taller than me. I am 6'2". Wait, you're 6'2". I'm 6'2 and a half. Fair enough. You're okay. taller than me. So, okay. So, we we just... Uh, well 12, over 12 feet. 12 feet, 4 and a half inches. Yeah. 12 and a half feet. <laughs> 12 and a half feet, or 12 and a third feet. Fine. Of... Of hilarity. Of hilarity, entertainment, interest... And marginal uh, ridiculousness. We're going to need tickets we're gonna need to all the shows. All of them. Uh, not not just the Luxor shows. We want all the Cirque du Soleil's. We want love. And all we want, really, is to stay in the point. That's all we want. Stay we want to stay in the point. We want to get on each other's shoulders, see if we can touch, touch the, the tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we want. And we need seven days to do Why it. Why won't you let us touch the tip? Come on, Luxor. Luxor. Tell us about Beirut. Beirut is a story. That takes place in the seventies and the eighties, and it's about um, it's a, it's it's a serious movie, which is uh, it's kind of nice because it it doesn't um, it's it's fiction, but it takes place in this this kind of it takes place on Earth. It takes place on Earth, so that's real. Yeah, it's, it's real, mm-hmm. it's, it, but it's fictional. It's a fictional story. It's it's so based it takes, on true events, but didn't takes place on Earth, happen. and this is an Earth with trees and seas oh, yeah. and, and and the seas. same seven <laughs> continents. Yeah, oh yeah, trees yeah. and seas, trees and seas. It's not on Pangea. Sure, um, it's basically about like what went wrong, how it's how it started to go wrong in the Middle East. Okay, what we kind of messed up. So this is the tipping point. The tipping point of where the PLO started to gain power and Israel uh, started to sort of dominate in the region and and what the U.S. did and did not do correctly. And my character is kind of a conflict uh, negotiator who who go, get, gets assigned there to sort of figure it out and does it with, with uh, varying degrees of success. Um, so so in some scenes, you're really successful, and you high-five everyone in the a, scene. Yeah, a million high-fives. And then other scenes, you're like, dang, I did not do that well. And you know what happens? Low fives. Low fives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, what if low fives were, <laughs> whenever you failed, you're like, all right, everyone, low five. <laughs> well, sorry, guys. Let's, <laughs> let's low five this out and try to do better next time. <laughs> I heard that any time you pass a tree or a sea in the movie, you say, oh, look at that. Is that true? 
In Beirut? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, you'll notice it. And it's a fun Easter egg. I think it's fun for the fans. It's, it's good There's for the- There's so many Middle Eastern fan, like fans of the genre, mm-hmm. Middle mm-hmm. Eastern movies, or movies named after Middle Eastern places. Mm-hmm. Um, what are these movies named after Middle Eastern places? Well, there's obviously Roman J. Israel Esquire. Esquire, of course. Um, <laughs> we all know the area of Roman J. Esquire. <laughs> Israel Esquire. And there's Beirut. And I think there's um, uh, that the wonderful movie, uh, Egyptian Times. Egyptian Times, yes. Yeah, and the Prince fun. of Egypt. Prince of Persia. <laughs> Prince of Egypt, I think, is a thing, though. But Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia is definitely a thing. But Jake Prince of, Hall played a Persian. But Prince, isn't Prince of Egypt a DreamWorks animated film? Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. We can't agree. We can all go around. And- it seems like it's a mistake, though, to put out two films called Prince of Persia and Egypt. Well, it seems without like them crossing step, over, stepping on each other's toes. That's true. Speaking of stepping Which on are, each other's, by the way, a delightful soft shoe with a curly tip. That's true. Did you know that? Yeah, the Aladdin shoe they call it. Of course, of yeah, horse. You know, it's it seems like uh, Aladdin, a lot like <clears throat> Michael Jordan, should have had his own line of shoes after that movie. Yeah, I would have. With the big I would, curly tip. I would have. I mean, first of all, they look remarkably comfortable. They're <laughs> incredibly comfortable. I, w- I would wear those on on the regs <laughs> with the children <laughs> and on the court and on the court. Mm-hmm. John, you're obviously a uh, hmm. an incredible actor uh, who uh, is in many films. Uh, Tag coming up a little later in yeah, the year. Tag uh, coming out in June. Coming out in June, and I doubt we'll have you back on before Tag. Yeah, don't uh, don't sell yourself short, Scott. I might come back. I might come back regularly. Yes, I would love it if you were here. Uh, I'm a longtime friend of the show. You are. You early are early adopter. You, I, I believe, uh, episode maybe 18 or something. When was, we when we were on terrestrial radio. Yes, exactly. Remember those days. Indy 103. Indy 103. One. Yes, of course. So you've been you you've been a longtime friend of the show. And uh, also, I believe, a personal friend. Uh, mm. uh, I mean, in the area uh, yeah, near, of personal near, friendship. Near-ish. Um, but I've always wanted to know, uh, what is your middle name? My middle name? Mm-hmm. Are you, is, are is everything you all, okay? Wait, I think our next guest is, is trying to get our attention yeah, somehow. What is happening? I'm in fact doing the opposite. I'm trying not to get your attention. Well, you, You're trying, you fail. You fail. Low five. I do. I do. <laughs> low five. <laughs> low five, please. I, I cannot low five you. I'm sorry. Really? John, you and I are going to have to. Okay. okay, there we go. Thanks, Scott. So I'm having a bit Thanks of for not this. leaving anyone hanging. Bit of trouble with this chair. I apologize. Well, what is going on over there? It's but- leaning back despite my will. <laughs> Well, are you okay? Are you going to be all I'm right? I'm fine. It's just a little uncomfortable. Uh, I, well, we may, as, we may as well introduce you. You may uh, as well. I, I'm not sure if uh, you know John Hamm here, know, if you've I, ever met. I don't met, know if we've but, met. Uh, the, uh, no, I don't believe we've met, sir. Uh, this is, uh, uh, he's been on the show several times. This oh, yes, is, I have. He's uh, more commonly known as the Smooth Criminal, but that's his correct. Christian name is Al A. Peterson. Or is it? Oh, that's right. You may have changed it. I may have. <laughs> because I am a criminal. That's why yes. I'm the Smooth Criminal. And but of doesn't course, sound that smooth if you're introducing yourself such. Well, there's more to the story. Fair enough. Do criminals really introduce themselves as exactly. criminals? Or do they try to get away with it by saying, I'm just a businessman? I'm a gentleman criminal, I guess you could say, because I admit that I am a criminal. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. You're, you're honest. Law. You're yes. honest mm-hmm. until you commit crimes. That's right. Well, even my crimes are not. Well, no, they're pretty dishonest. They're, they're you're sort of an anti-hero in a way. I like that. Let's say I am. Okay. And of course, the smooth part is that my body is entirely hairless. Oh. Unexpected. Yeah. I thought, did it, was, you, I thought it was that, that mellifluous voice. Oh, that's just a side effect. <laughs> that's, is, that's a byproduct of the, of the hairless body? You should, you should have heard me before. <laughs> really? Raspy. Could you do an impression of yourself? <laughs> Possibly? <laughs> I could try. I mean, okay, let's been, hear. Yeah. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hey guys! Oh no, we now, couldn't have no, I, we okay. it. Ow. The smooth criminal. Ow. No, no. Ow. What? That's, I much prefer. Please, the, yeah, the, we much prefer yeah, your right. smooth voice. That's, yes. just, that's much better. Now, that, speaking of Al, Al's middle name starts with A. That's true, and your middle name starts, starts with, with D. A. Starts with D. Yes. Okay, so like the uh, uh, my middle name after is, death. My middle name is yeah. Anno my Domini. Name, Anno Domini. My middle name is Daniel. Daniel. Ah. Oh. Al, your middle name. Should I tell? I've never divulged it. Before. Yeah, we've never spoken about this. I mean, that seems like, like we're a question on the topic. That would, it just seems yeah. like it might be nice. Well, all right. I hope this won't lead to my getting caught by the authorities. <laughs> I think please, the Alan and the Peterson were be. far. <laughs> you think my first and last name are probably more of the <laughs> yes. it's probably more of the clues. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna tip the scale. All right, if you must know. 
Amadeus. 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 Rock me. <laughs> um, and th- by the way, this is your. This is not your Christian name. You chose this one. It may or may not be. Right. We'll oh. we'll get to that in a second. Let, my middle name is real, though. I was named after <laughs> Saint Amadeus. Oh, okay. I took that as my confirmation name. Let's. <laughs> Let's talk about, for those of you who have not heard Al before, he's been on the show several times. You're the smooth criminal, uh, and you have a business. Explain your business as briefly as possible. Al, you're from Florida, correct? Oh, that's not correct. No. No, uh, You may be thinking. (laughs) I'm just trying to nail nail you down regionally. Oh, I bet you are. (laughs) (laughs) I must be thinking of someone else. I believe you're thinking of our good friend J.W. Stillwater. That's exactly. Uh Oh, the crime fighter. Yeah, he is. The amateur crime fighter, J.W. Stillwater. Is he on the lookout for you? I was going to say. He probably is. I am a water criminal. Sounds like rival. (laughs) rival, A rivalry. He sounds like rival. He sounds like rival. (laughs) Low five, John, for that. (laughs) Sorry. You're doing a lot more low five since the last time I seen you. <laughs> well, we just started it probably at the beginning of the show. So, Al, tell us about your business. You want me to? You want me to, want me to nutshell it for you? Nutshell, please. I help people fake their own deaths. Okay. Right. And and the 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 uh, process. Oh, you want to hear more? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's good enough. <laughs> I, thought so you, if, I thought you. I thought you. I was in the instructions to explain it very briefly. Uh, slightly more information. The process by which you do this. I have people shave their entire body, and then I furnish them with a new passport. <laughs> you furnish them, furnish them with, a new, with a new passport? Yes. Furnish? Yes. Okay. What's the problem? <laughs> well, it just seems like maybe you – I don't know. Is, is that furniture? I think you could use the word furniture. Fair enough. But, but, but it's I mean, interesting listen, that David furniture, furniture certainly has. Furniture sort of co-opted <laughs> it, though. Do you think when David Furnish walks into a room, he says, this room is now furnished? (laughs) (laughs) I think he absolutely does. You've been furnished. It it is interesting that furniture co-opted the word furnish. It's it's like it's not like you call furniture like give, you know? I wouldn't go down this road. (laughs) Okay. Let's go down the road. I'm gonna need a low five on that. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Let's go down the road of uh, of of your business, though. You you sure. shave you shave people. I to... shave people's entire bodies. Save. What is the, why is the shaving? It's to change your identity. That's what I did. Right. I faked alopecia to get out of a long term relationship. You were in a relationship with a woman. Um, what was her name? Carlifer. <laughs> Carlifer, and she. Uh, you, you did not want to be in this relationship. And what was the main reason? I got, I got cold feet. I. You know, we were together for a long time. We were college sweethearts. Right. And uh, things got serious. It was time to uh, either get Put married. up or shut up. Put up or shut yeah, up. put up or shut up. Mm-hmm. And uh, I chose to shut up in the form of <laughs> shaving my entire body, telling her I had alopecia, hoping that she would be too shallow to continue the relationship. She surprised me by being a better person than I even imagined. And uh, I disappeared. Right. Taking with, with me. She, she, was ready to ex- she was ready to accept you as a As, as a, a propitiated man. Of course she was. Carla is a living saint. Yes. And then you disappeared with her favorite hoodie. Yes. And she's been searching for you ever since. That's right. B- due to love or the hoodie? Have we ever found that out? I guess I'll find out when we finally meet up. <laughs> she's sort of like your one-armed man. But does she have both arms? I'm sort of her one-armed man. The Is one-armed man didn't chase the fugitive. I thought that he was chasing the fugitive. <laughs> Wait. He was the fugitive. He was on the run. Fugitive was running from everyone yes, except for fugitive, one person. The fugitive was running from the, the detective. One-arm- Why didn't they call the one-armed man the also fugitive? Because he's running confused. from the fugitive. He wasn't a fugitive from justice. But he he was was much cr- like furniture, he one can be a fugitive. The uh, here's the thing: the fugitive was chasing the one-armed man to prove his innocence. Oh, because he had he had yes. seen his wife murdered by a one-armed man. Why? By the way, we don't give that one-armed man enough credit. No like, kidding. That must be difficult to murder someone with one arm. If it, had he had two arms, that's a done deal. You could have blended right into the blended right into the thing. This guy really, he knew how to hide. <laughs> you think you'd wear a fake arm to murder someone so that people are like, no, he definitely, he definitely had, two had two arms. arms. Yeah. He couldn't be a one-armed man. Well, but it does, does, does seem strange, though, that he would just have one arm hanging limply by his side. <laughs> 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 not one defending floppy himself arm. with it. It yeah, was the floppy one, armed man. His, his hand might be <laughs> turned around not, the wrong that's way. That's not an arm. <laughs> that's a weird. Why was he wearing one glove? <clears throat> Michael Jackson? Fair enough. Um, Did Michael Jackson kill the fugitive's wife? Ooh. Reopen that cold case. <laughs> Do you think let's Michael Jackson Quincy had Jones, a. Let's get Quincy Jones on that. <laughs> Did Michael Jackson have a fake arm? Are you a fan like I am of Quincy Jones Mysteries? 
<laughs> what about Quincy Jones' Medicine Man? <laughs> um, oh, somebody write it, please. So, so, uh, and one other detail I want—I did want to, because I'm oh, barely what it could be. I'm barely <laughs> remembering sure. it. But how did Carlifer get her name? The name Carlifer is a clumsy portmanteau of her parents' names, Carl and Jennifer. Right. And uh, uh, did this ever come up in the relationship of uh, well, Scott, discussion? As a matter of fact, it did. You know, when I was meeting Carlifer's parents for the first time, we'd been dating for some months, and. I met her parents, dinner at their home, and uh, what you have to understand is she comes from a, somewhat of a troubled home. Her mother is, of course, a vermouth <laughs> alcoholic. Right. That's a hard one. Yes. She that's, tough. that's a lot of that's bottles. Lot she drinks of... bottle after bottle of vermouth. <laughs> and they're so, so small. The bottles are small. They're not big. No. Even if you go to a BevMo. You're not going to get a liter of vermouth. Costco. No, you're not. And you shouldn't. No, you should not. And her father, of course, is a sniveling, spineless worm. <laughs> right. So Jennifer wears the pants. Well, when she can get them on properly, <laughs> sure. she's right. not passed out drunk from vermouth. Oof. So Carlifer was sort of in a broken home, didn't have a lot of parental guidance. That's right. And then you came over uh, to meet them. Yes. And, w- and what was your reaction to them? Well, when I met her father, her mother, of course, was in the kitchen on her eighth bottle of vermouth. <laughs> right. Burning the dinner. <laughs> what was she cooking that night? I think it was three towels. Oh, no. <laughs> I think she'd had three thick and thirsty bath towels folded up in the oven. That's Now, we had never just, spoken just, about that before. Just, that no, is that's tough. a new detail. I was going to say, no sauce? It's a, <laughs> she, Oh, gotta dear. Have, you got to have you gotta, gravy. Yeah. She, may, she may have ladled some conditioner on there. Oh, know. no. And so when I met Carl, mm. Carl of his father, I decided I'm going to test this guy's metal and see who I'm dealing with. <laughs> right. Do you do that often when you meet a, a new a metal person? Tester? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Mm. Sometimes I feel like I've got the measure of a man immediately. Fair enough. I don't, I don't remember you testing my metal. I hadn't been metal tested either. Yeah, I don't believe you have. What? Surprise, you both have. What? Whoa. Yes, whoa. I did it in secret. <laughs> oh, no. I've got it down to a science. <laughs> you did, wait, you did it secretly or you did it hiding from us in secret? Both. When, oh, really? Yes. So we haven't seen you at a certain I point. I was here you, before you were here. What? Yes, I was waiting no. for you. He's oh, always been here. Oh. And I always will be. <laughs> Wait, you just live here? I live here inside the walls. <laughs> Wait, have you met Mayor Junius Bubble Doonery? Oh, is he a little tiny guy? Yeah, a little <laughs> tiny guy, yeah. Yes, I have met him. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. So now uh, you you were testing Carl's metal. Yes. I want to see who I was dealing with. Right. Nah. 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 How'd it go? <laughs> what, was the, what was the results of this? Well, here's what happened. He held out his hand for me to shake. I took it. I squeezed, and I subtly bent him backwards, using his, just the power of my hand. His spine backwards, or he took a step I back? I forced or? him to shrink from me. Really? Yes. And I said to his face, <laughs> Yes? Carlifer is a clumsy portmanteau. <laughs> and he thanked me for saying it. He oh, thanked so he you. Got, he yes. got it. Oh, what a worm. He realized he made a, a mistake. Coward. He was a coward. <laughs> He's yellow. He shirked from you. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. What yes, a worm. Where is he now, I wonder? <sighs> Probably in the same chair, waiting for his <laughs> wife to sober up. <laughs> Eat, just eating a towel. <laughs> or a washcloth. Oh, my gosh. Oh, How do they have lunch time? <laughs> Well, low five. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Al, let's it's, give it a medium five. We've it's had it in the middle. It's so good to see you, Al. I mean, uh, Thank you. You, you're one of our favorite. It's good guests. to be out of the shadows. Yes, you uh, are. Are you getting out more? I mean, uh, you've been this identity for so long. Well, you know, sometimes I put on disguises mm. just so I can walk around and be free. But it's scary because uh, the police and, of course, Carliver. Mm-hmm. Could be around any corner. Right. What kind of disguises are you putting on? Like uh, Johnny Depp and Pirates of the Caribbean? Exactly. (laughs) Are you working the the stretch of Hollywood Boulevard? uh, What do you mean? uh, Do you you know the man's Chinese theater? Yeah. I've heard of it, of course. (laughs) Have you ever passed by it? 
Mm, I don't think so. In <laughs> costume? Because you should. Why is that? You might make a little extra dough. A little extra cash for you. What are you walking past the theater? Yeah, <laughs> people will ridiculous. want to hand you money if you're in a you'll, clever You'll have to disguise. take a few pictures. Oh, I'm out. Oh, okay. I can't have my picture taken, of course. Not even in Not disguise. Even in disguise? Not even in disguise. Oh. Technology is such now they can remove my disguise digitally and know exactly who I am. There's then, an app for that? Probably. <laughs> then how do you handle your <laughs> you social so media confident. profiles? Oh, I have an intern do that. Oh, fair, fair yeah. enough. That's 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 <laughs> okay. just sensible. I've taken on some interns. <laughs> okay. So they do, uh, they do the majority of the shaving. <laughs> That's right. You're still faking it. I don't know why you have to fake it. It, it almost seems like Carlifer and the authorities would be looking for a hairless person. Oh, Scott, don't be absurd. The interns don't shave me. I do that myself. <laughs> the shaving the of, the, of the clients, yes. of course. Oh, I see. Sorry, I see. I, I made that mistake, too. And was there something where you shave everyone except for their buttholes? That's right. I let them retain <laughs> the hair around their anus so they can <laughs> still keep some of their own identity. Yes, that's right. That only they will know about. <laughs> right. Is and that it, just because it, of your butthole aversion or is it? I'm not going to lie. That's a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say. ever have a client in the initial stages who farted in your face and you were like, okay. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I cannot do this. This is, this is a bridge too far. <laughs> To answer your other question, <laughs> the reason I keep shaving is because I love to swim. Oh, that's true. Sa saving precious seconds. That's right. Yeah. My speed What's your stroke? Increased. I love the breaststroke. Mm -hmm. I love the butterfly. Mm -hmm. I love the crab. Mm. I love the selkie. Mm -hmm. Dog battle, mm -hmm. number one with a bullet. <laughs> Dog battle is number one. Love it. Love it. Really? It doesn't I'm, seem that I'm, fun to me. I'm probably the fastest dog battler you've ever and are you, are you a distance man or a sprinter? Both. Oh, good. Both. I sprint, What's, I sprint for distance. <laughs> What's your time on, say, the 200 meter? What do you do 100 meters dog paddle in? Got to uh, be under a minute. Oh, yes. It's, uh, I think my last best was 29 seconds, but that was whoa. That was quite that a while a, ago. That is a, I haven't, that I haven't is achieved a very, that. very fast Very fast, paddle. especially for a dog paddle. Yeah, yeah. that's a very fast My last time paddle. was probably 44 seconds. 44 seconds, yeah, that's, wow. That's still an impressive dog paddle. What, is, what is Phelps doing? Uh, uh, like Phelps dog paddle? A Phelps dog paddle probably goes in at about at the low 40s, sure. Yeah. But I mean, that's Olympic level dog paddling. We'll never know because he refuses to accept my challenge. <laughs> he will never He will never do it. And, uh, and by the way, you, ne you mentioned the Selkie. Yes. Few people can do the Selkie. It's very difficult. Ever, ever anymore. Yes. What is it? What exactly is the it's Selkie? It's a stroke from the 17th century that mm. nobody really practices anymore. And what, it's quite How impressive. describe it if you well, could? Well, you, you start at the end of the pool. Mm -hmm, sure. Much like, like any. You jump in the pool like a human being. Okay. But then the idea is as you make your way across the pool, you transform into a seal. Oh. Okay. An, ir an, ir an Irish seal, like I believe. Yes, an Irish, right? seal. An Irish seal. So you have to sort of take on the affect of an Irish seal. The and attributes and of a you seal. Have to, you also have to act out the transformation. There's that. Oh, I see. I mean, so this sort is of why like the it's really, it's a, it's a very high degree of difficulty. Yeah. You have to be both swimmer and actor. Yeah, sort of like the morphing technology that James Cameron invented for Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Or black and white. I think Michael Jackson's. That's true. Yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. You d you had no idea what. I do you not go see movies? He is on the run. <laughs> Except movies. you've been here in L.A. for a surprisingly long amount of time. The only movie I've ever seen is Blue Jasmine. Blue. <laughs> Blue Jasmine. I can't. I can't stay at a movie theater for too long. Is that because I, of I dice can usually clay? last. I usually last a half hour. I think I have a friend who has only seen Blue Jasmine. Yes, Blue as Jasmine, well. the Andrew Dice Clay film. <laughs> the Andrew Dice Clay movie, right? Ford Fairlane, Blue Jasmine. That's right. That's the extent oh, of his listen. filmography. And of and course, vinyl. Vinyl, vinyl. Yes. Oh, yes. Vinyl. <laughs> you remember the poster to vinyl? By, by right? the way, sunglasses, of course, were invented a long time ago because Dracula wore them, as we saw in that one film. Oh, that's right. Yes. You have seen more films than just Andrew. Well, I've seen a half hour of many films. Yeah, do you know my friend Tracy? Tracy Who? Reardon. Who's that? Uh, she, uh, she's a willful, ignorant child. Who uh, she can only see a half hour of films. And Blue Jasmine, I believe, is the only one that she's seen back to back. Is she also a wanted criminal? Uh, no, she's not. I mean, I, I do believe she may be in trouble recently because Claire's is going out of business. Oh, so, and that's Who's Claire? one. Claire. Uh, it's one of her only jobs. She, she, or one of her only jobs. She has several jobs, so it's one of her only ones, though. Uh, she also works at Baskin Robbins. Who's Robbins? <laughs> Do you think Tony Robbins? Baskin, I know. <laughs> Do you think Tony Robbins is part of that uh, conglomerate? It has not, to be. If he's not, he's crazy. He's, he's crazy. He's missing out. He's got to invest in at least 29 of those 31 flavors. Now, you say your friend, the only movie she's seen back-to-back -back is Blue Jasmine? I believe so. Is, and that's your experience as well? 
Well, I've seen Blue Jasmine all the way through. Is <laughs> That's what you meant? <laughs> that is probably what I meant. When I say back to back, I, I didn't mean watch all the way it. through. I didn't watch it twice in a row. <laughs> I guess I mean the front being one back and the end being another back. <laughs> both backs. Yeah, everyone gets that. That's the, English. If you see a whole movie, that's called Making the Beach with Both Backs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Al, it's it's great to see you. How's your business going? Everything going well? It's going great. Yeah. People, How many? People are faking their deaths all the time. What is the most? What is the reason? What is the big biggest reason yeah, John, you get from? Would you why ever fake say, your own death? I would not. I don't. I want to. You're live. on top of the world mm, at this. You point. say that now. Well, exactly. So what? What? What is the number one reason people come to you? Here's why. I need to. I gotta get out. Money why? troubles. Yeah. Is it cash? Is it relationship? You'd think it was money troubles. Hmm. But it's not. Oh, okay. What I'll tell it? you exactly what it is. Hmm. After, After this break. break. No. <laughs> okay, I guess we do have to take a break. This is exciting. Uh, That's a real cliffhanger. Uh, yeah, on the other side of this, uh, we're going to hear what the number one reason why people fake their own death. We'll be right back with more John Hamm, more Al A. Peterson. We also have a, a, a friend of ours, a park ranger coming up, Marjorie Kershaw, and a trainer will be a little later. So come on back after this. More Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> Okay, so support for today's show comes from Squarespace, another one of our super sponsors. They have this new uh, slogan. I've been chewing on it for a minute. I think it's pretty good. See how it sounds coming out of my mouth. Think it, dream it, make it with Squarespace. Pretty good. Think it, dream it, make it with Squarespace. Think it, dream it, make it with Squarespace. Think it, dream it, make it with Squarespace. That's right. If you can think it and you can dream it, you can make it with Squarespace. Squarespace has beautiful templates created by world-class designers. Squarespace, they, basically what they do is they just make it easy to turn your idea into a new and unique website. Everyone's got to have a website these days. Squarespace is going to make it happen. Now, I know what you're saying. You're like, okay, well, what do I do? I put in a website and it looks... Like whatever you want it to look like? No, bro. Customize everything. I, I hear you like, certainly not the look. No, yeah, the look, the feel, settings, products. Plus, it's all optimized for mobile right out of the box with built-in search engine optimization. You can showcase your work. You can put up a blog, publish content. Announce a special project. Da -da 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 -da. Special project alert. Even sell products and services of all kinds. There's no other way. It, in just a... F no other way it... What did I say? There's no other way it? I don't know. There's no other way to say it, though. In just a few clicks of the mouse, my dear boy. Then use Squarespace's analytics to help you grow in real time, and there's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Although... I got to say, to be fair, TBH, if you do have a question, Squarespace's award-winning 24-7 customer support is there to help. What award did they win? It, what, what was it, Kevin? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and turn up the mic. It's a special day. I'll, I'll allow you to talk on mic. The Gold Stevie Awards. <laughs> the Gold Stevie Award. <laughs> Squarespace, you're crazy for this one. You want a gold Stevie. Keep dreaming, but make it a reality with a website from Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG. You will save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com, offer code BANGBANG. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with John Hamm. Uh, Beirut opens this Friday. Uh, uh, how many? How many screens? How many reels? Uh, seven screens, forty-two reels. It's mm, a, it's, it's that's a, a long one. It's a it's a forty-two hour movie. Wow! Um, and it's because it, it's so in depth. Sure. Um, it, it's all in one shot. I heard it's all in one shot. It takes place <laughs> over. So it only took forty-two hours to film, which right. is great. It takes place over a one forty-two hour day, <laughs> and it, it there is, are a lot of extra hours in the day. People don't know because they go to sleep. But there's like uh, people don't get it. Like there's if you, like eighteen if you extra hours. If you manage it. to stay up, you can see sleep. all forty-two hours of the day. Sleep must be nice. You don't sleep? I very rarely sleep. <laughs> really? Why? Because you're, vigilant you're always time, on the run. I'm sure. always on the run. <laughs> but you're, you're just staying here in the walls at Earwolf. 
<laughs> There's a lot of noise here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just a lot of people shouting, up. some people dying. So, uh, 42 hours. That's amazing. So yeah, if- it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful film. And if and if anybody ever. St- watches the whole thing mm-hmm. through, they're, they'll be transformed. And it incorporates, I would imagine, one sun up and one sun down. Absolutely. Wow. That's, 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 what, what, you, that's what you want in a film. You know, you want to see the sun, sun go down. up, you want to see the sun go down. Good night. Yep, exactly. We also have Al A. Peterson here, the smooth criminal. And right. uh, before the break, this is exciting. He, what, 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 man, I was like. Yeah, I was, I was on the edge on of my ten, seat. Tenter hooks. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he mentioned that uh, uh, the number one reason why people fake their deaths is was not. It money? Not money, not relationships. It's actually something different. What is it? It's calling people Carolyn when their name is Caroline. Oh, my God. What? That's. I've done it. It's embarrassing. And by the way, I've wanted to end my own life. Yeah. You're 100% exactly. correct. Oh, exactly. my gosh. that uh, What a terrible situation to be you in. You know you'll see that person again. <sighs> Unless. <laughs> Wait, what, what were you going to say? Well, unless, you just unless, unless you come unless, unless, Oh, Al, oh, I'm sorry. Al intervenes. Oh, yeah. g- g- got it. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I, I, I've never done this before, but uh, since we're talking about John's business, I'd like to talk about my business a little bit. Just oh, a certain. little plug. If you are looking to fake your own death, if you've called someone Carolyn and their name is Caroline, if you've thought someone was pregnant and you, yeah. you found out they're not at all. Said how many months? Um, you can contact me, of course, through German Craigslist. <laughs> really? The listing is in Cre- code. Craigslist? Craigslist. Mm-hmm. And it's in code, you say? <laughs> yes, it's in code. In German? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and what is the code for people to so that they can well, contact I mean, you? Basically, you just have to read all the ads. Oh, and okay. Then and decode out, all of figure them. Figure out which one. It, it'll one, be up. My ad. It's it's you know it's not if you're just skimming. It's is not it, obvious. But if you really read, really you read them completely, take in every single ad on German Craigslist. So it's not gibberish. It is not gibberish. <laughs> but it it is something that when you read it very, very carefully. It'll be like the ad is winking at you. I see. Ah, yes. a little sly nod. I also mm-hmm. include the emoticon where it's like the semicolon and then uh, parentheses. So Close that's parentheses. A, wink, a winky face. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. So you include that emoticon, which is the just the one right side up. Yeah, look for that. Okay, got it. <laughs> right side up. Right side up head <laughs> with winking. Right side up, head with winking. <laughs> isn't 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 it, is an emoticon uh, can be a combination of uh, characters? Yes, that's what an emoticon is. Oh, I thought it was Are just one thing. Of an emoji? Oh, I'm thinking of emojis. Yes, I right. love those. Do you it's like a, those? The early version of an emoticon. I don't like those because, you know, I wrote a screenplay for Emoticon the movie. <laughs> oh, oh no, dear. never got made. That's, a, oh. that's unfortunate. Yes, that's unfortunate. It was going to be live action too. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Did you say that several times in the script? Like, hey, yes. by the way, this I is... I reminded people, yes, on every page. Don't <laughs> every forget this is live action. Don't forget. <laughs> this is... Well, uh, Think Sir Ian McKellen. <laughs> we, uh, I- I'm so sorry about that, but... Uh, Thank you. No more time to get into that because we have to get to our next guest, if that's all right. That's uh, fine by me. And... I, may, I can't even stay for the whole show, probably. Really? You have to go? Why is that? Well, he's on the run. Oh, you, thank you very much. I, mean, I don't know why you keep forgetting this. I, <laughs> he's literally looking over both shoulders so, constantly. Yeah. And you, uh, if someone were to burst in here, what would you do? Yeah, I mean, what would you'd you do? Be, you'd, there's, one the door. there's four corners in this room. It's not a pentagon nor a pyramid. Well, that's why I keep those smoke bombs. <laughs> well, that's right. Smoke bomb and you're out. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's Smoke impressive. bomb and I'm out. So if you're bursting into a room, block the door with your body and don't be confused by the smoke. Why are you giving advice to people <laughs> trying sorry. to catch me? Well, I mean, I, I what I loved about The Fugitive was Tommy Lee Jones was as good at chasing fugitives as Harrison Ford was at being the fugitive. Can I tell you so I want an I'm evenly sorry, matched. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sick of hearing about The Fugitive. It's very insulting to me. <laughs> you brought it up, didn't you? No. <laughs> Who did? You. You did. What? You did, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a great film. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Al correctly <laughs> informed us that we were wrong about the one-armed man's role. And he clearly knows a lot about How did both you ever watch, Fugitives and The Fugitive. How did you ever watch a, an hour television program like The Fugitive? I would, of course, record it. <laughs> okay. And then fast forward through the commercials. <laughs> okay. Well, that's still 45 minutes. You can only sit for a you, half hour at a time? You get the gist. Oh, okay. Got it. Also, you can cut out the first five, ten minutes of any, any hour-long show. Yeah, that's true. And you can follow just along. All just all set up. Yeah. It's all set up. Um, Character development. 
All right. Well, we do need to get, uh, speaking of character development, to our next guest. Uh, she is a park ranger. She's been on the show before. Uh, please welcome back Marjorie Kershaw. Oh, hi, Scott. Hi. It's so good to see you again. Good to see you. This good is Al. This Hello. is John. And can I call you Hello. Al? You please. You can call <laughs> when him. You call, when you call him. <laughs> and what is your name again? Marjorie. Any chance I could call you Betty? Um, yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Only can, you, though. So I can call you Betty. You can call me. Betty, when you call me, you can call, call me Call me out. That's great. Oh, call that's me. fun. You can call me by your name, by the way. <laughs> Okay, you call me by your name, and I'll call you Al. Okay, great. Wait a second. Which one's Al? You guys decide. Uh-oh. I believe I'm Al. I, I think well, I'm Al, too. I think we're all Al. Yeah, I think moment to moment, anyone can be Al. This is a great way to blend in to the shadows, Al. That's true. If get a bunch the, of Al's. If everyone had the same name. <laughs> you get a no bunch of Al's, the then no one knows who you are, fully, and you're except you're hairless. Fully get everyone to leave their bodies. <laughs> Well, I but think I'm, you have you have some interns. But now, Marjorie, I'm still the only one who can call you Betty. That's right. Even though you will refer to all of us as Al. At any <laughs> given time, anyone can be Al, but you call me Betty. Thank okay. you. Everyone else, please call me Ranger Marjorie. Ranger Marjorie. Okay, Are I can't you, not you're even a park, Marjorie. You're a park ranger. I am a park ranger. Oh. Have you thought of shortening it to Rangery? Oh, that's okay. a nice portmanteau. Or, or Rango. What about Rango? Why Rango? <laughs> Yeah, why Rango, Scott? A, I know you haven't seen that film, Al, but it's a great film about uh, Johnny Depp plays a lizard. <laughs> a lizard. You know, a Western lizard. Yeah. You know, if I were still stationed at my beloved Pinnacles National Park. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? <sighs> well, Scott, since we last spoke, I've been transferred. Oh, no. no, you loved Pinnacles. I love Pinnacles, the jazz hands of the cen- of Central California. Right. And um, what? I've... <laughs> Uh, why was well, it called Pinnacles, that? the rocks shoot up, and it sort of looks like Earth's jazz hands. Oh, oh I see. I you know, that. I was trying to get that going so we could get more, more. Uh, well, we don't have butts in the seats, more feet on the hikes. Mm-hmm. Boots we, on the ground. Well, well, that's a little scary, what Scott. What a fun phrase. <laughs> yeah. I, like, fe- I like feet on the feet trail. On, feet on the trail. <laughs> feet on the trail, Scott. Um, and uh, I've been, I've been, tra- if I were still at my beloved Pinnacles, Rango would be more appropriate. We had all kinds of lizard creatures, oh, lizard friends there, but I am no longer in such <laughs> you a warm. Had lizard creatures? Yeah. You know, Avila lizard. monsters. Sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Now I'm, I'm no longer in such a warm climate. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where, oh, dear. Where were you transferred to? Oh, well, now I'm uh, one of the rangers at the gates of the Arctic. The America's northernmost and least visited national park. Oh, no. Yeah, up there in Alaska. In Alaska? Well, I went to my superiors and I said, listen, I've been doing my best to keep people away from bees, um, but I think I'm ready for a bigger challenge. Please send me where there's danger. Now, you thought a bigger challenge was like a bigger, something more bigger bees. than a bee? Oh, more bees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you just wanted to go to a place that had more bees per capita? Yeah, that's right. I heard that. Uh, what is the BPC up in? Uh, yeah. uh, the BPC was 40 bees per person. Wow, oh, that is too many bees. It's a lot of bees. bees. Well, you know, and we need bees, as we, we all sure, know. So course, but, I, I was teaching 40? a respectful fear. 40 per? But please don't Ooh. swat. You know, we need bees. But Death Valley, they're 60 bees per p- 60 bees per pee, you know. That's oh. too many more bees. That's a lot more bees, and so I was, fingers you crossed. You down with BPP? I was down with BPP. <laughs> you know me. Sure, I do. And know. now You're I'm up. Returning to the show. Where there's. Zero B per P unless there's five B per P if the B is bear, Scott. Oh, bears. So bears? Oh, no. So there's five bears per person up there in, in what, what was it called again? Which Gates park? of the Arctic. Gates of the Arctic. So five bears? Five bears per person. And by the way, you said this is the most, America's most northern uh, national park? That's right. And, and least visited. Least visited and second worst. Second worst? What's based, the worst? Based on... Congre National Park in South Carolina. They can get the hell out of here. What, what, who votes on worst? You know, it's one of those U.S. news polls. Oh, okay. Where yeah. you're like, oh, if my alumni donate more, my college is ranked higher. But, mm. you know, you still, they do carry some weight, Scott. Sure, sure. People look at those. They are, they are the tastemakers. It's taste not only makers. the U.S. news. It's the U.S. news and world report. It's That's the true. world yeah. report, Betty, Scott. what makes uh, Congaree the worst national park? Well, you know them. They're about 100 M per P, 100 mosquitoes oh, per that's, P. Yeah, that's, oh, a, that's a deal breaker. It's a no swamp thing. land, no so, thing. you know. For a man with no hair, oh, yeah. you're going to get covered. It's like the first Thanksgiving for those guys. Is hair like the first line of defense against mosquitoes yes, usually? It is. Absolutely. Yeah, think about it. Put yourself in there. Well, they don't have shoes, but put yourself in put their yourself wings. Put yourself in their Aladdin shoes. Oh, boy, I wish. <laughs> 
So this this is terrible for you. Did you have to? Do you have a family? I can't recall. No, right? no, you're a solo. I'm I'm a I'm a free bird. That's the yeah. life of a ranger, though. Yeah. I'm sure you're living yeah. on the you're living on the land. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Do you know about when doctors they have their match day, Scott, and they get their they get their coats, and there's an algorithm for what med school they're going to go to? Do you know about this? In I, the world? Yes, when they when they graduate thing. from medical yeah. school, yeah, where they're going to do their residency, yes. they do matching. So we have very, we have something very similar in the park system, mm-hmm. and my beloved. Of Pinnacles was my first choice, mm. and um, and the algorithm also matched you up with it. Yeah, or? they said, Marjorie, you're a perfect fit. Wow. And then I I asked for more. You know, I didn't yeah. keep my eyes on my own paper, and now I'm up freezing my buns off, <laughs> chasing away bears. You flew clu- too close to the sun. Uh, and- <laughs> clue close. <laughs> clue close. <laughs> <laughs> From Fatal Attraction. <laughs> Um, you don't know that reference, Al. I'm sorry. Just, I mean, I know something about that film. <laughs> um, this, this is terrible. So you just p- packed up solo, but that's okay. But let's yeah. let's look on the bright side. Maybe it's not terrible. I mean, look, you're you're first of all, you're in the second worst. You're not in the worst. That's right. You could be covered in mosquitoes and living in South Carolina. That's right. I could terrible be. barbecue. And mosquitoes. Scratching, scratching like I got nothing else to do and drinking vinegar-based pork. But instead... How's the barbecue up in Alaska? Well, I'm trying. <laughs> what do you have? A, <laughs> what do you have, a big green egg or... You know I'm smoking. Yeah, I got one of those big green eggs. To. You got you to. Have to. I got to fill right. the time, guys, because guess what? Grand Canyon, 6 million visitors last year. Mm-hmm. Gates of the Arctic, 10,047. Ooh. So what's but what's the what's the attraction? What's the what's the well, killer app of of Gates uh, of the Arctic? Here's what it is. We have Cuz I got to say I'm, I love the title. Yeah, yeah, Gates of the Arctic. This sounds, oh, it yeah, sounds maybe, epic. Sounds like you know? you're going to go through and there's going to be a gate. Hey, you're yeah. in let the me Arctic. tell you this, a bunch of owls. You could go <laughs> to Belgium or you could go to a park the size of Belgium. Whoa! That is what makes our country wonderful. Oh, yeah, and, and get this, it has no roads. No roads? None at all. Where we're going, you don't have them. Oh, that's uh, Ranger the future. Ranger, is it? Ranger, is this Gates of the Arctic? Is it just? Is it just a big bunch of snow? Well, we don't always have snow, but there's a lot of snow. There's some lakes. There's some peaks. You can go camping, but there's a rigorous uh, application process. Application process. Yeah, well, to you know, prove that you can weather the it. storm. You can yeah. weather the storm. You're gonna want to go into the wild. Basically. Yeah, wow. you got. We got. I can't be taking people out of the wild every day. It's hard yeah. to find, Scott. It's Belgium. It's the size, it's the of, size Belgium. of Belgium. And is it only you, or are you the only? There's about there's about ten of us up there. Oh, okay. And so that means just just by us, not visitors. I want you. That's fifty bears. Okay. Wow. So then ten thousand. That's so. Anytime anyone comes, they add five bears. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Is there some sort of arrangement with the bears where? I've been. We're trying. I've been trying to source out who the leader is, where right. I can maybe get that bear to respect me. Mm. But it's it sounds very like hard. You, you might be able to make make friends, make I bear might, friends. You know. But y'all, I've seen Grizzly Man. You know, it's it's. Well, you gotta yeah, be, be careful. Just I've be never. Careful. Yeah, I've never seen it. You don't. Well, I've, I've never seen any of his films. Oh. Timothy yes. Treadwell's films or, <laughs> or Werner Herzog's films? Neither. Very short IMDb entry for Timothy Treadwell. <laughs> So how have you how have you been trying to find out who, who's the main bear? Who's the uh, uh, HBOIC? I believe head well, bear in charge. Yes, <laughs> head bear in charge. Uh, well, I just I've been um, you know walking out and making grids. You know, mm. it's the only way to really cover such a large space. And um, I don't know if you remember this, but I, I don't like to talk about it since I am a federal employee and I do believe mm. in the separation of church and state. But I am a devout Methodist, so I just go out. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> No, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because, okay, you know, good. I'm a federal employee. Now. Right. But you, d- you needed to say that in order well, to— Well, I do go out and say a little prayer and say, please, HBOs, HBIC, H-B-I-C yeah. please come find me. It's just a simple little, little prayer like that mm-hmm. that I say as I walk in a grid pattern. But please don't make me speak anymore about my faith because I do believe in a separation of church Have you thought state. about just tossing a bunch of meat out there? Well, all of my meat's smoking, as you know. <laughs> so, so it's not done yet. Yeah. Say you got a I mean, real I've, low temperature. Also, but I've watched enough cartoons. When that scent hits That's the right. bears, they tend to follow they it. They tend to float in the air. Which, yeah. Thank you, Al. That's what I've been trying. I've been trying because I don't want to waste the meat that I've been smoking. So I've been trying. Right. Can I set a trap of just a smoke-based trap? Mm. And, you know, I got some good woods in there. And not just one. I got apple wood. I got some hickory. Cherry? I got che- Oh, you know I got cherry in there. Oh, okay. 
Now, I'm letting the meat speak for itself, Scott. Just basic sauce. So- I'm not getting no, fancy with the rub. Can I ask yeah. also, like, you, you're talking a, a lot of a lot of hard woods, and you're in mostly a softwood forest up there. That's a pine conifer-based economy up there. Where are you getting this wood? Right. Yeah. This wood is imported from so – I do have pen pals at other national parks. Oh, you know, we okay. We keep in touch. So who, who, who's your main pen pal? Who's my your main pen – H-P-P-I-C. <laughs> <laughs> Your head pen pal in charge? Uh-huh. My HPPIC is, um, he's a great guy of the name of Stefan, and he's in the Badlands. Oh. Oh, now, that, Be- now that's a park. Yeah, oh. that's a park. Best guy in the Badlands, Stefan. Stefan's in the Badlands? Yeah. That, mm. that place has everything. Oh. <laughs> it's got cactuses. It's got lizards. It's got wolves. <laughs> It's got peaks. It's got trash can people. It's got groove. It's got feeling. So, uh, uh, have you ever met Stefan? Oh no, never in person. Oh no, just a couple of PPP. So, it sounds like you have a, a pen, lot in, lot in common pals. with this with this person. Uh, oh, really? You think? I, I I don't know. You're both park rangers. Mostly know. hardwoods. Too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. He's about. at the Badlands, Scott. It's true. I don't know. That's like after Yellowstone, Grand Canyon. That's, you know, and in Yosemite, that's pretty much, that's the big time. You you're know? Top, you're definitely talking top five. Top five. That's the show, as we like to say, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Maybe, you know, those Utah ones, they really, they're, they're a tough pack to crack into, you mm-hmm. know. You got your Bryce. You got your Zion. Zion. Sure. You got your Coral Reef. You got mm-hmm. your, um, you got your... Arches. Arches. Right. You got your no Capitol Reef. You hmm. got your no Betty, way. I have, I have yep. Yeah. <laughs> How come at those gift shops, the yeah. little license plates, they're all Alan or Albert. There's no just Al, and there's no Al A either. Well, I mean that I'm not going to ask for the sky. <laughs> well, by the way, that's just Alabama. <laughs> You know, I can report that. I can send that up. I think it's Hold because on, most of us. <laughs> I think there might be some confusion. I'm not looking for full size license plates. No, I understand. <laughs> I understand. You, you want a vanity, a, a, a vanity plate that you can put on your bicycle. I put on my bike. Yeah. But yeah. wouldn't the authorities be able to right track under you? Right the banana seat. What's that? Would they be able to track you through such a personalized license plate? Well, I'd cover it up with duct tape, of course. <laughs> oh, then why well, have I it? I know it. He <laughs> knows there. He feels it. Oh, why don't you just get Albert and cover up the Burt with a little bit of duct tape? It's the it's the spacing is all sure off. or cover yeah. the cover the al with duct tape because that's the part you want to keep hidden and then leave the bird out there and people will just think you're a guy named Bert yeah driving around, around on a bicycle give people the bird I think it's because I like <laughs> please leave the bird I like Bert with a U over oh. the oh, oh okay yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well that's well yeah that's a mountain we can't climb. <laughs> Well, uh, we can try. We, we can, can try. Only, we we can, can, but try. We can try. You know, I think it's because a lot of people feel like they need permission to call someone out. Yeah, that's I true. So. You know, I nicknames so. do denote a certain level of intimacy. You know, I don't feel like we feel like we can just slap it on a plate. Is your name actually just Al or is it? Uh, well, my name is. Oh, you almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Marjorie, this is terrible. I I feel thank you for your support, I Scott. Feel awful. It's been rough. Are you trying to get out of there, or are you? Well, right now I'm trying to do my best to get more f- a feet on the no roads, um, mm. just feet out on the land, because I still believe. Hey, what if I can bump gates up in the rain? Sure, you know? yeah. I mean, it might just be your duty. Uh, to... That's how I feel. So I'm gonna give it a couple years of just trying to get a couple years. Well, you know, gotta see it through. It takes time. While. Takes time. Time Scott. takes time. True. True. How old of a woman are you again? How you old of a Woman. If you don't mind me it's a uh, asking, terrible question to ask a lady. Well, I'm just wondering. Well, uh, no, it's all right. No, fair enough. I'm 42. 42. So you have a couple of years yeah. before. I never would have guessed that. Thank you. What would you have guessed? 29. Really? Absolutely. Well, you know, the life of a ranger. A lot of outside work. Keeping outside, the skin young. The great, beautiful air. <laughs> <laughs> Thought that would actually maybe make it a little more leathery and rough. Scott, but. you know I'm walking around with SPF 30 and a wide rimmed hat. That's true. Betty, let me ask you. You were expert at chasing away bees and yeah. telling people how to keep bees Respect away from them. Respect bees, you Respecting know. Respecting them, of yeah. course. Yeah, don't swat. Right. But helping but people fear. with bees. Yeah. Fear, don't swat. What are, you, what are your, your, your bear approaches? Oh, my gosh. You know, what's tough about bears, I don't know if you know this. Is it that they're three times our size? <laughs> <laughs> have knives on their hands? <laughs> and, and, it, and, you know, <laughs> with, with bees, only many stings with an allergy kills you. Right. Uh, any bear can kill you. Any That's bear true. will do. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> And um, so, and what's different is they're different species by species. I don't know if you know this. You know, you do different things for black bear, brown bear, grizzly, polar. Yeah. 
And with Grizzlies, there's really nothing you can do. What? Except really? for one tip I did find is they're very, they are faster than you. <laughs> do not outrun them. They will hunt you down and kill you. And also, they are uh, in for killing for sport. Whereas most bears, mm. other bears want to um, kill to eat you. Wait, but so, that's a tip that you're giving oh, yeah. us? <laughs> so I just want you to have a healthy respect and fear. Now, the tip is they do have I'll excellent just, I'll speed. I'll just go right to fear. Climbing. <laughs> fear, but fear. Healthy fear, fear. Healthy, uh, they, can, they can run, they can swim, they can climb. What they can't do is turn on a dime. So what you want to oh. do is just zig and zag as fast as you can. Interesting. That is good to know. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. Is that for any bear, though? No, if you do it for Scott. A black, because others can All turn other on dimes. Okay, black bears, you want to um, act big, maintain eye contact, slowly back up. Brown bears, you want to play dead. Grizzly bears, you want to... Now, I don't want to talk about my faith, but you want to say a little prayer and get ready to meet your maker. But don't make me talk about it again. <laughs> but you want to zig and you want to zag. You can zig and zag, but as you're doing it, please... Just confess all your sins because you're probably still going to die. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I think I'm right in this. And I think with polar bears, you just offer them Coca-Cola and you walk away. And that is, is that true. true. That's and true. that is true. Yeah, you see a lot of those up there? Uh, Not enough. Yeah. And you know. How do you deal with panda bears? Oh, what you, can't you do with a panda I bear, Al? You just Al? snuggle. You just snuggle. You cuddle. You give them bamboo. You watch how much they sleep. You say God bless you when they sneeze. Oh, oh come on. Please don't, please don't sneeze. talk about that, though, because we, separation of church and yeah, state. Please. Oh, not that's bring, right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, and mind. I do apologize. You say gazoon height when <laughs> they, when those adorable little Wait, bees. is that in your that's ad, the by the way? <laughs> I do. The, the ad finishes with Gesundheit in case you sneezed. That's very <laughs> that's thoughtful. very polite. Very thoughtful. People can sneeze at any time. It's, that's right. Well, speaking of which, we do need to take a break so people can get to sneezing during huh? this break. Huh? Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> hey, everyone. Want to welcome back Lisa, one of our super sponsors. Lisa, I tell you, they, they, they've been around for a while now for us, and... Uh, I ask myself sometimes, I'm like, you know, Lisa, they're always buying ads on this show. They're always trying to get the word out. What drives them? What, what, what is it? Is it just capitalism? Is it just money? The almighty dollar? So I investigated. I wrote some emails. I was like, guys, I want, I want to know what drives you guys. What, what inspires you? Why are you doing this? They wrote me back a really nice email. They were like, you know what? To be honest, Scott, we don't care about the money. We would give away our mattresses. And in fact, we might just give away our mattresses for free in the future. Not yet. We're going to give people $125 off. I'll save that for a little later. But what really drives them is sort of the mission. I don't know of any other way to put it, but to provide a better place to sleep for everybody. For everybody. And when I heard that, I tell you, I clicked off my email. I shut off my computer. I turned off all the power. I just sat there in the dark, stunned, stupefied. I sold my house. I live under a bridge now. I, I did, it's incredible, these guys. In fact, Lisa, for every 10 mattresses that they sell, they donate one mattress to a shelter through their 110 program. Now, you know what I say? Why not 10 mattresses? Make it a 10-10 program or a 1-1 program. <laughs> Why are you stinging out on the mattresses, Lisa? <laughs> um, but it's pretty good. I Look, who am I? I'm not giving away mattresses. Lisa's at least given one away. Um, they also plant one tree for every mattress sold. I, I didn't know mattresses were made from trees. That's cool. Um, and they donate 1% of each employee's time to volunteer for local causes. Not to mention they have this patented universal adaptive feel, which means Lisa is designed for all types of sleepers of all ages, too. I've, they take all comers there. You know what? If you bring a, if you bring a 10-year-old and say, I want my 10-year-old to sleep on a Lisa mattress, you know what they say? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Hey, I have a 97-year-old who wants to sleep on one of your mattresses. Bring them on. They don't care. All types of sleepers, all ages. And these things feature... Three premium foam layers, including this two-inch Avena foam top layer for cooling and breathability, a two-inch memory foam middle layer for body contouring and pressure relief, and this six-inch, all six inches of this dense core support foam for durability and structure. We're talking a 
10 inch mattress. That's the dream. And now Lisa is continuing to expand its offerings that include the Lisa pillow, blanket, foundation, and frame. No wonder it's a Forbes top 20 startup to watch. Try a Lisa mattress in your own home for 100 nights risk free. Available in the US, UK, Canada, and Germany online with free shipping. This is a hundred. This is a (laughs) hundred. This is this. Look, this 100% American made mattress ships compressed in a box right to your door. So that's all cool, but you may want to try it out, right? So try it out at the Lisa Dream Gallery in Soho, NYC, and Virginia Beach, and over 80 West Elm stores nationwide. Now, here's that $125 I was talking about. Get $125 off and a free pillow. I say just give me $140 off. You can keep the pillow. <laughs> no, they actually, they gave me a pillow. It is comfortable. It is very comfortable. Get $125 off and a free pillow when you go to lisa.com slash bang bang. That's l-e-e-s-a dot com slash bang bang. <laughs> Suits, two pieces, three pieces. Who has the time? You do, because you got to wear one some of the time. Even the the dude out there wearing a hockey jersey and jorts has to wear a suit occasionally. My best friend's getting married. You know the drill. Well, nowadays, there's an easy way for guys to rent suits and tuxedos online. We're talking about the black tux. For more than a year now, I've been wearing the black tux every single day. I go everywhere in a tux now. <laughs> uh, I've never returned it. I owe them a lot of money. <laughs> Um, but no, it's a, it's a great way. If you have a special event coming up, you know, I mentioned weddings, but you know, what's great to wear a a tux to just a party. Have you ever just shown up to just a party in a tuxedo? I guarantee you get all the attention. It's great. How does it work? You just place your order online. Check. Your suit is going to arrive 14 days before your event. That's a that's plenty of time to check it out, see how the fit is, see if you like it. Ret- you can return it if you don't and make adjustments, whatever you want. And then when your event comes, wear it, turn heads, and send it back three days after your event. Easy. Shipping's free both ways. That's no problem, right? And I hear you out there, you're saying like, oh, yeah. I don't even know what to look for. They have stylists for that. They have stylist selected outfits. Or if you're like, you know what? I don't, I know what I like in something. I don't want to trust someone else to do it for me. You can build custom looks. The Black Tux has tons of suits and tuxedos to choose from, and they're always adding amazing new selections. Plus, and this is so incredible that I don't even know what it means. They have a new fit algorithm. You don't have to awkwardly measure yourself. I don't know what this means. I don't know whether your computer takes a picture of you and then puts it through an algorithm. I don't know if it's like a Pied Piper thing. I don't know what this is, but I got to try it for myself. The Black Tux does it all for you. They even let you feel the fit and quality of your suit months before your event with a free home try-on. Look as great as your date looks. You don't want them to outshine you with the Black Tux. Tux. To get $20 off your purchase, visit theblacktux.com slash bang bang. That's theblacktux.com slash bang bang. You're going to get $20 off your purchase. The Black Tux premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with John Daniel Ham. Oh, boy. Sorry. Sorry. I had, to, had that in the chamber. Uh, Al Amadeus Peterson and Marjorie. Oh, I don't know your middle name. Oh, it's Salieri. <laughs> Marjorie Salieri Kershaw. <laughs> and it's time is that to spelled S A L L Y oh. space A I R Y. Of course it is. Of course. That's beautiful. Oh, okay. Beautiful name. Uh is it hyphenated? No. Oh. Um uh Sally was my middle name and uh well, Eri- she spends a lot of time outside. So yeah. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. What uh, an elegant portmanteau. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you all my portmanteaus from now on. Sure. Port- um, portmanteau. Love po- oh uh, yes. I like it. <laughs> Uh, we do need to get to our next guest. This is uh, exciting because, uh, you know, uh, uh, bikini season is right around the corner and we all want to get into shape. Uh, so uh, let's welcome. Way, if you yes. need help with that, 
It is bikini season. <laughs> and if you need help with your bikini line. <laughs> yeah, you're the guy. That is a service we provide. Other than the butthole. Depilatory <laughs> That's services. Right. That's right. So sorry. Uh, um, no problem. He's a trainer. Please welcome to the show, Dash Grabham. Hi, Scott. Hi. So great to meet you. I'm Dash Grabham. Yes, you are. Welcome you to the show. may have misunderstood what I do. Uh, I do. You're a trainer, right? I'm you, a Pokemon trainer, Scott. I train Pokemon. I catch them and subjugate them and train them for battles, and we go on adventures across the land. <laughs> What's this now? What? What is a what is a Pokemon? Yeah, what Pokemon is, it? is a pocket monster, a small <laughs> monster that you can subjugate and catch in a ball. Where are that. you on this portmanteau, pocket monster? Oh, because Pokemon, Pokemon, pocket monster, pocket Pokemon, monster. Pokemon. Hmm. Pokemon. Oh, that, that, one's, that one's on the line. I've seen a lot of them around your area. I'm not from around here. Yours are weird, though. I will give you that. Yeah, have you seen them in the walls? Maybe you're just thinking of <laughs> Mayor Junius Bubble Dooner. No, I saw a bunch of them outside. Little, what it would be Pidgeys where I'm from, but yours are different, and they don't have any of the attacks that the ones that I have. You oh. try to catch a, a pigeon? Oh, sure. I caught like eight of them. They have basically no battle skills. <laughs> I, see, they can run. That's a good battle. Or I mean, fly. That's a, I'm pretty yeah. sure they can fly. That's a nice run. skill. Yeah, that would be pretty useful if I didn't have a bunch of bird-type Pokemon, <laughs> which I do. Oh, mm. wow. Congratulations. What, now, Thank you, you. Where do you keep all of these? It must be difficult to store all these p p pocket monsters. No. See? Okay, so here's the Pokeball. And so you just click this. And it gets real small. Oh my oh. Keep them on my belt right here. It's marvelous. I only carry about six to eight of them at a time. <laughs> it's my battle lineup. And the rest of them I put basically into the internet where they just live and sit around. Is it like Bitcoin? I... That's a currency that lives on the internet, it's a I guess. cryptocurrency. Yeah, I cryptocurrency. don't think I can... I don't Is know that they like have any... Is it more like Litecoin? Is that another cryptocurrency? Uh -huh. I don't know that any of Is them it more have... more like Heracoin? I think of all of them, it's the most like Hera coin. Is it like the Charleston Chew, which is a new cryptocurrency based on Charleston Chew, the candy bar that no one likes? <laughs> I, think I beg your pardon. I should. I love a Charleston. I Jew. should Ooh. clarify. It <laughs> is. So sorry. It is like Bitcoin in that it is very difficult to cash out because none of them, as far as I know, are directly exchangeable for money of any kind. Okay. Dash, okay. let me ask you a question. Yeah. You said these Pokemon, as you call them. Mm hmm. They engage in battles all the time. The land. I make them do it. Who are they battling? Other Pokemon. It's a big, big no no to fight a person with a Pokemon. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a crime. Yeah. A crime in, in uh, not in the United States. Well, a I crime against nature. The legal system. You don't have a lot of rules pertaining to Pokemon in this country. Yeah, there's not I a lot noticed. of Pokemon law. Yeah, where I'm from is almost nothing but. <laughs> where are you from? I'm what? from the Kanto region. Oh, okay. <laughs> of? Excuse me? The Kanto region of... Pardon? <laughs> so you're from the Kanto region. Yeah, I'm from the Kanto region. And you... Full stop. <laughs> that's, that's all you need. And you train Pokemon to fight other loose Pokemon, or do people own and subjugate these Pokemon oh, as well? Oh, thank you for asking, Scott. Oh, you're welcome. The answer is both. I love to use my Pokemon to fight wild Pokemon that I try to make faint. You don't want to ever kill a Pokemon, but once you make it faint or almost faint, you can capture it. And then you can take those Pokemon to poke at gyms all around the world. And you can battle at those gyms against other trainers and take their badges. And then if you get enough badges, you can become a Pokemon Master! And I, Dash Grabham, I'm gonna be Pokemon Master. Where, where are you in the process? I have one badge. How many do you need to be a master? More than one. <laughs> so two? I mean, technically to be a Pokemon master, you have to catch them all. And this is where it gets so frustrating. This is what I've John heard. Yeah. This is what I've heard. You've got to catch them all. You've got to catch them all. all. You have to. It is a compulsion. And here's the problem. Originally, when I became a Pokemon master, I'm 11 years old. I started very, very I was going to say, I would not yeah, have yeah. That. How old would you have said? 29. <laughs> I spent a you lot of time in the sun. everyone is just 29. <laughs> Aren't they? I spend a lot of time in the sun, and I don't wear sunscreen, and my hat is always backwards. Oh, no. Because that's the cool way to wear it. Oh, boy. At least put on a sunscreen. I I'm begging you. I don't need to because I have uh, coughing, and he can cast smoke screen. Okay. Anyway. I forget what I was talking about. Well, oh. you you were talking about a uh, subject or finding other Pokemon and and uh, the catching them all is very difficult. Oh yeah, because oh. originally there were only a hundred and fifty Scott. Okay, and that's like a big. And yeah, one can if one were to spend maybe 
two hundred days. I I can imagine one. That's could a catch that's, them all. that's a that's a that's a legit two, amount of time. Yeah, two yeah. thirds of a year. Of a year? That's, that's, yeah. Al, that's can I ask you, catch you what kind of day? You know, uh, forty two hours. Oh yeah, the forty two hours. Forty two hour day. A Beirut day. Yeah, forty two hour day. Just never sleep like Al over here. I don't mean to well actually all of you right now, but uh oh, two hundred days is a laughable amount of time to catch one hundred and fifty. Okay, guys. don't don't mansplain to us about or kids explain. I guess is what don't po- it's just poke explain. Some think, of them are in saffron. I think maybe some of them, uh, young mansplain. Train explain because he's a trainer. Oh, okay, train explain. Yeah. Well, it's just that they're all over the world. It takes so a long time. Oh. But there were originally one hundred and fifty. But that wait, was Jackie doable. Chan went around the world in eighty days. Who? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Jackie Are you going to allow him to rock you? Uh, he, he and Steve Coogan went around the world in 80 days, so it seems like it's uh, 200 days is, you know, would be... If you got very lucky, you could maybe do it. How but many the, But how many Pokemon are are in the Kanto region, here, let's just say? There are 151 proper in the Kanto region. Now in the Kanto region. So how many... So you it's can expand- get a lot just in the Kanto region where you're from. Well, that's all that we thought there were, and that's what you thought you had to do to catch them all. It turns out every year or so... About 150 more get released, released? and they get bananas weird every time. I'm really only familiar with the first 150. After that, (laughs) there's some weird, weird stuff out there, you guys. There's a bear. You would like that one. Oh, well, I have a healthy respect for it. You wouldn't like this bear. This bear, as I understand it, blasts fire out of its mouth. Oh, gosh. Well, that is, I think that is the HBIC for sure. That would definitely be the HBIC. Hugest bear I caught. Um, <laughs> you have caught and trained this bear. Oh yeah, I got it. I have another. I have a water type Pokemon. Can I ask that bear? What is the name of that bear? Hmm. What is the name of His that name bear is Pokemon? Sitting in the internet right now. Oh, the the name of the species. Yeah, an Ursaring. Ursaring. Mm. Oh, that's mm. clever. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So it's based on the Latin. He's a big bear. He's got a big literal ring on his stomach. Okay, oh. on a stomach. Ring How do you feel like about that, portmanteau? Gotta fly upside down then. Ursa, 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 ring. Ursa ring. One is part of his Latin name for bear, and right. then he has a ring around it's him. It's a portmanteau oh, between a Ursine and telephone ring. That's, that's a clumsy portmanteau. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you've been judged. Clumsy portmanteau. CP. Ursa ring. Anyway, I battled him, and now he lives real on the internet. Point. So how do you bat? Because I thought it was against the rules to battle a human, uh, for a Pokemon to battle a human. Or oh. is it just frowned upon? No, it is where I'm from. It is actually illegal the to, Kanto region. to use to use the force of in the Kanto region the Kanto to use region. the force of a Pokemon against a human. But you're mm-hmm. battling these Pokemon. Yes, like for example, I would have a Pokemon. I would probably, if I was battling you, for example. Wait, I'm not a Pokemon. No, no, no. You would be a Pokemon trainer. Scott oh, Pokemon. okay. I so see. I believe you. You would bring your Pokemon, and then we would, the, you would set them on each other. For I example, see. which one do you choose? Uh, out of my Pokemon, sure. I'll choose Ursa Ring. Great, you're an idiot because I'm going to bring a water Pokemon to that fight, but okay. Water right, and fire. You bring, oh. well, that's that's not your fault. You're a new trainer, I assume. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, so well, you, I have no interest in this at all, actually. Are you kidding me? It's got so much adventure. Dash, can I ask a question? Yes, please. Is this Pogs? <laughs> <laughs> what is Pogs? Ooh, you got oh. it there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a thing that I've heard, and I'm never quite sure. Oh, the is. stackable cardboard disc that you then hit over with the metal disc? Wait, why were you That's confused great. about pogs? Well, for a second, I thought you were talking about a polywog, which is a po- polywog. That would be a, the That's clumsiest quite a, of portmanteau. Quite a portmanteau. Yeah, yeah. A terrible CP. No, you're talking about stackable pogs. cardboard discs that then you use hit a, with metal a metal disc, slammer. And then you. And you make bets, and you can win yes, other people's pogs. Exactly. Yeah. Metal slammer. <laughs> is it. You said polywog. Mm hmm. That's what you would call it. Where I'm from, it's called a polywag. Mm. That reminds me of a story I once heard about Ooh. someone who uh, was in the backseat of a car uh, on a trip with his friends and his friends' his little baby son who had a polywhirl doll. And he loved this polywhirl. And so this person that I know was pretending to get the name wrong of polywhirl <laughs> several times. And the little boy was laughing. And then... All of a sudden, the little boy started crying out of oh. frustration oh because my gosh. this idiot couldn't understand that the name was Polyworld. <laughs> and this is a friend of yours. This is someone I know. Someone you know. I I can't, someone I, you've worked I with? I can't claim friendship was with Was it anyone. on video or? No. I don't, I, I guess I don't this, know this. This was a story that I heard from A life. story. Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, I understand that. I it have happened a, to someone I know. My <laughs> favorite Pokemon that I use for most battles is called a Charmeleon, and if you called him something else, I would think that was rude. So now, I kind of understand. That's clearly a portmanteau between Charming 
mm-hmm. and a chameleon. He is cha. He is and kind is, of like a chameleon. Is his power? Is this yeah? His battle skill is a charm. Just charms you or out, of, out of fighting. Is it from chameleon and char? And he's a great uh, barbecue master. <laughs> He is a great Much barbecue like master. Over he here. is a great barbecue master. He is about a four foot tall fire lizard, and I would say his main power is arson. Oh well, oh. I would just I would just bring a water lizard to that fight. Yeah, that would be a good move. Is Chameleon Air <laughs> a pocket monster? Chameleon Air, the musical artist. <laughs> yes. I mean, he would be if I could ever catch him. If He's a I were to catch it. No. See, here's the oh, thing. Well, and his power clearly would be just having a lot of money. You're not exactly. supposed to catch humans and but blending into it. The technology technically doesn't prevent you from catching anything inside. And a subjugating them. You're just talking about slavery. This, at this does point. sound well, very like slave, use, slavery we, adjacent. Okay. I will say. Well, we don't yeah. like to use that word when we I talk about. I'm sure you don't. These are Pokemon are our companions, not our slaves. They battle with us. Sometimes by choice and sometimes begrudgingly, but we don't well, ever use the word slavery. You mean I, like picking someone up from the airport? Very much like that. Like so you don't like, want to, but you're not being forced to. Okay. Well, that puts it in perspective for me. So if I were to catch Chameleon Air in a Pokeball, he's a, I assume, a rap type Pokemon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Do, w- were Let's you going to finish that sentence? Tread very carefully. The way, the way you said that made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> well, we could have said a music type Pokemon, but he's specifically a rapper. S- specifically hip hop, yes. I don't think I want to catch him. I'm be honest, that feels like that's what a criminal would do. A criminal would catch another human being instead of Pokeball. I'm not a criminal. No. I mean, oh, you're Al- a criminal. Alice. Do you want to catch Chameleon Air in a Pokeball? Well, no. In fact, I'm trying not to be caught and put in a. a Pokeball of sorts. Which yeah, you're like a the Pokemon prison system. Prison system. Uh, in a way, you get in, you don't get yes. out. Yeah, I, could you try to catch Al A. Peterson here? Maybe you are the Tommy Lee Jones of this story. I mean, why, I could, but why I, are you encouraging this? Why are you reaching for your smoke bombs? <laughs> <laughs> I got to be ready. Is that a Pokeball? What's in it? It's not a Pokeball. What it's, would be in it? It's just. It's a. I, I guess you got to throw it. And tell me what rare Dry Pokemon. Ice, what is in a smoke, smoke. bomb? <laughs> smoke. I'll battle your smoke. Ninja smoke. How Wait, do you get? Hold on a second. Is there a Pokemon with a giant fan? <laughs> I mean, kinda? No. Oh. There's a plant one that has what looks like a fan on his head. Okay, well, use that that's one. That's the maybe. guy. That, what yeah, kind that's, of, that's that's guy. guy. What kind of fan? Well, it was more like a flower petals than a fan, but I figure you take flower petals and you spin it around, that kind that's of functions the like poor a man's fan. Would fan. Do. Yeah. yeah. Poor, so everyone the, the calls it the original fan. Flowers. Did the you poor say poor man's fan? No, no, no. It's not a clumsy portmanteau. Just poor man's fan. Oh, poor man's fan. Excuse me. By the way, poor manteau, you don't want anyone. Anywhere near that. Yeah, don't you don't want to put those in the Latin toe. shoes. No. 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 Uh, well, uh, so how many Pokemon do you have? I have 12. 12. Yeah, you have, you're have. you not even close to catching no, them. No, it's going to be a very long road. But yeah. I'll do it because I believe in myself. Now, you say mm. you train these pocket monsters. Mm-hmm. What does the training consist of? Great. So I take the Pokeball, mm. and I throw it, and then they come out, and then I shout commands at them, and they do what I say. I see. This does this sound thing, very slavery adjacent. Yeah, it's adjacent. very mean. Yeah. It feels— It's a partnership full of respect and trust. And what do you do for them? I put them back in the Pokeball. Okay. And then oh, okay, so you yeah. imprison them. <laughs> Well, we win battles together, and then sometimes we eat a meal, but mostly I keep them in the Pokeball because they all eat the same thing, and it's real boring to take them to a restaurant. (laughs) So you're only allowing them to eat once in every rare while? You know the crazy thing, Scott? They don't actually need to eat if they're in the Pokeball. Okay. I've got some that have been in that ball for months, and if you take them out, they're like a little pissed, but they're physically fine. Is Their favorite Their favorite meal has to be a Poke Bowl, though, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay, that's that is why right. is that boring? They love, I, I, can, I, I can eat that like love three a days a week. Bowl. I know, I could. I mean, you say that now. Like a Jeremy Piven. Talk to me on week three. <laughs> does he sing, week three. Does he sing Jeremy Piven? <laughs> Jeremy Piven <laughs> Clare let me ask you a question. When the pocket monsters are in this Pokeball, mm-hmm. are they in a sort of suspended animation? I Stasis? Wish, I wish I could tell you. I've never been in one, and as far as I know, no human ever has been. Oh, Can well, they- that sounds like that's something you should do. I mean, it's so hard to catch them all, especially if they keep moving the goalposts. You should be the first human in a Pokeball. Oh, I should get into one? Just yeah. understand yeah. both sides. Yeah. I think that's what yeah. we're talking about. So yeah, if you were to get into your, poke, exactly. your Pokeball, we would let you. I'll do it. Dash Grubham will catch himself. Okay. 
What do you need us to do? Oh, oh, oh he did it. Oh, he just it's did. Oh, that is amazing. Now, how, wow, he how just did we disa- get him out? Yeah, we should have asked that before. We really well, should have. Yeah, he should have given us instructions. I don't know how to oh, work this thing. He Let said me, throw it. Let me take a look at this. I just He said, like, throw it, I think. Throw That's it? How they, All right, I'll, th- yeah, I'll throw it at something. Let's see. Oh, don't throw that. That's my oh, smoke careful, bar. careful. <laughs> don't oh. throw the smoke bar. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm free! Oh, okay. Whoa! Wow, phew! What, was, what that, was that what like? Was it like? What was it like in there? Okay, you know how when you go to sleep and you... Oh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, try, try try to do something. Don't compare it to a movie either, because Al, <laughs> Al is going to have no frame of reference. Oh, okay, jeez. Uh, how I do this. Um, okay, you know how... Well, for the rest of you, then you know how when you sleep, it's like you're kind of aware of existence, but it's a little bit different. Sure, this sometimes you know like you're in a bed. That. Oh, it's not. Oh, like wow. That. This is you. So you can be back in, Al. I have. Okay. I have back no in. memory from what just happened. Oh, okay. Oh. So the last thing you remember is going you into the ball. Going into the ball, and then I just I, I felt a bump. I pushed right back out. How long do you think you were gone? I mean, it felt like an instant to me. Well, it, it was feels like no only kind of longer than yeah, it was like 120 <laughs> seconds or so. I feel like we didn't get a real accurate idea of what it's like to be trapped in the poker well, ball. I'm going to tell you, I do not want to go back in because I feel like I did not exist for that period of well, time. Well, so now this is what the poker yeah. pocket this is how they feel. must feel. Almost definitely, yeah. So does that make you want to release Reconsider? Them? Not even a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just feel like you're really, you're really taking advantage of these pocket monsters. Oh, for sure. You know how, like, okay, horses so he pull... Hears it, you know so. how horses pull carts? <laughs> yeah. Are you all up in arms about how horses be pulling stuff around all the time? I mean, sometimes. You ask those horses if they want to pull carts around? It's not I great. don't like the horses that do just to the, be, the to carriage be fair, rides. Yeah. They're also fed very well. Yeah. They're groomed and but, they're treated very nicely. Let me ask you a question. They get to shit in the you, bag. You guys know fish? Oh, I mean, we, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> but you know, you know fish? <laughs> Yeah, you got I know fish, fish. right? I, if you I mean, had a yeah. fish, what would Pokeballs. your what would your fish's day to day life be like? Well, that's uh, I mean, they swim around in their living home, their best well, life, their be- swimming the the, swimming in the water. My fish has been all over the world, but they don't know because most of the time they're in they're, a yeah. ball. Yeah. ball, ball in they used to know that its own existence well, was going on for most of that time, but it came out and got to experience parts of all over. the I world. I had a fish growing up, but it was an outdoor fish, so he got to just go wherever. Yeah, mine's an outdoor fish. So, you know, I, I uh, maybe you don't think these pocket monsters have sentience or a soul. Oh, they definitely have both. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, then you're then you're then you truly are a criminal. Yeah, you're, just, no. you're a slaver. You're, Guys, a, you're a slave owner. They're so happy. This How bad. do you know that though? Because well, okay, well, you can tell when a Pokemon is unhappy because it doesn't follow any of your battle commands. Can, okay. can one come out? Can we? Can we talk can we to one? one? Yeah, I feel for like sure. We really need you, to. Wanna, you can't talk to them. They only say their own name over and over and over again. Okay, so that's going to be so hard stupid. to know That'll if they're happy. Tough. Is it yeah. like I am Groot, where it has different intonations? Oh. Meaning yeah, yeah. Meanings? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's just like so that. you can translate. Yeah, for sure. Oh, well, okay. Let's bring. I guess we bring a chameleon. Yeah, I'll bring on my Charmeleon. I Char- sure you. Charmeleon. Sorry, the Charmeleon. Yeah, Char- yeah I'll bring Charmeleon. out Charmeleon. He's just going to say Charmeleon a lot. Okay, yeah, okay, bring him yeah. out. Yeah, Charmeleon, go. I choose you. Charmeleon. Hey, what's up, dude? Charmeleon. Yeah, how's it hanging? Charmeleon. Yeah, that's about right. Charmeleon, are you are you, are you happy okay? Or, yeah, are, are, are would you? Char- Meal. Yeah, Leon. I don't think I don't think yeah, Charmeleon's that's okay. So much pain. You guys, you want me to translate, or do you just want to infer from that? Well, no, I, I know what he's we're, actually. We're all saying. in the room. We can see what's Char- happening. Charmeleon is Leon. crying. Leon. Yeah, he is crying, but not for the reasons you think. Okay, what? Well, translate for us. Okay, then. so Charmeleon, this one specifically is an arson type Pokemon. Charmeleon? He's mad because he hasn't burned down a building lately. Charmeleon. Yeah. So uh, Charmeleon shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, he's shaking it up and down. Yeah. Charmeleon. No, not <laughs> shaking. No. Up and down true. if you're tilted sideways, sure. <laughs> well, yeah, that's Charmeleon. Okay, so you know how, like, in India, yes and no doesn't look like the same head gesture as it does for uh, in America. I don't, I did not know that. That's no. true. Yeah, I did it's, not it's know that. First of all, this? India? India. I know it's in the, the movie Gladiator, <laughs> they do thumbs up when it should have been thumbs down. I don't know about that, but that's okay. probably right. <laughs> Charmeleon. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I'll start you. back on track. Okay. Um, Charmeleon. Charmeleon. What is one thing that I could do to make your life a little bit better? Charmeleon. A whole bank? That's Charmeleon. A, we can't burn down a bank. Charmeleon. Charmeleon. I know. That felt to me like kill me. 
I did feel I did feel a lot of pain. Charmeleon's eyes just went wide. Yeah, seems to be Indian style saying no. Charmeleon, return! Okay, I don't feel like you were giving us the proper translation. I do feel, yeah, I feel like we learned more about the real situation with these Pokemon yeah. than, than you wanted to let on. Yeah. And I think you need some some serious soul surgery. Yeah, where are your parents and all of Dash. this? Dash. Oh, both dead. Both oh, dead? Yeah. Wait, you're an orphan? That must be hard. Well, yeah. I mean, You're most, a dirty orphan? I don't know that I'm dirty. <laughs> okay. I mean, I shower, I think, you know, once what, or twice yeah. every month. So Ooh, how do you oh, how do you yeah. then, how do you take it's care of dirty. all these all of these pocket monsters? Oh well, I win money in battles. You win money? Oh yeah. Who pays? The promoters. <laughs> I didn't think this could get worse, but it did. It okay, really so did. there's so, someone on top of this pyramid who's taking children. Yeah, like is and it then those David children, S. Nintendo? Is this someone's like a twelve foot four and a half inch on top of this pyramid trying to touch the tip? Exactly, <laughs> and and they're. I'll get to the tip. I'll be the first child to touch the tip. I'll get to the top of the internet pyramid. Oh, all this the sounds, Pokemon. You know, listen. Dash, I know what it's like to feel like you're defined by your job, but you do not have to do this to these poor Pokemon. It sounds like these promoters are subjugating you, and you're subjugating these Pokemon, and it's a horrible pyramid, and there is we no We need to tip. break the site. We need to break the site. Yeah, cycle. the tip keeps moving up and up and up. It, at first, it was 12 and a, qu- and a quarter feet. Now, it's mm-hmm. further and further. I mean, I never thought about it It's a movable tip, and I don't think anybody agrees with that. You yeah. want, you want, want a, a, they want keep a static moving the tip. tip. We want a static tip. Yeah. The way I kind of always thought about it was I was catching best friends to go on a journey of a lifetime Aww. and fulfill my dream. Well, That's no. a lovely, lovely way to frame I mean, this argument. But you're that, keeping them trapped in a ball. And yeah, they, for sure. And they are constantly having existential crisis. I don't know that they are. And I've known Charmeleon longer than you, so I don't think it's fair for you to all assume that you knew what he was saying when I didn't. Dash, yes. you're 11. Uh-huh. We collectively are 29 years old. <laughs> we have a little more experience. In All of our reading. names are Al. Al. You okay. can call us Al. <laughs> I can call but, but please, you. You may not call Marjorie Betty. Do not call Ranger Betty. I wouldn't dream of it, ma'am. Oh. We, we, I Thank think you. we have a little more experience in sort of reading hmm. the, the emotional reality of, of these people. And Charmeleon was devastated. Well, let me, let me get another one out then and maybe you can tell you me pick. that. You pick. This, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick. I should tell you though, this one's a straight up ghost. <laughs> okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared, but it is a ghost. Ghosts okay. are scary. Will, will he or she pass through us? It's not slime. I don't know if it's he or she. Yeah, is, is it? Is, is it onion slime, head? Right? Yeah, aka. Yeah, onion I mean, head. when it goes through you, you're gonna feel something that I would say, yeah, is akin to slimy. Is it definitely going to go through us? Oh, it is 100 percent gonna go through. <laughs> All right, I'm nervous. Why, yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Can you pick another one? Well, let me frame this for a sh- <laughs> no, I can't, and here's why. I think that one thing that you're not thinking of now is all of these Pokemon that are in these balls are not walking around in the world or floating around as this one. Anyway, this is a ghastly. Let me take it out real quick. I'm, I'm unclear <laughs> as to what we're supposed to keep in mind. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to kind of like tell me what you think is going on in this guy's this head. Is, this guy's, this uh, guy's is name this? is Ghastly. Ghastly. Gas- gas- okay. I'm going to be honest. Not I'm, gas leak. Not gas leak. Yeah. Ghastly. Okay. Although that's a crazy thought. It might be a ghost. It might be a collection a, of gas floating a, around. A, you know, it could, could just be, be Victorian houses, you know? <laughs> Is this the gas, gas leak from season four of Community? Oh, I don't watch television. I'm too busy out in the world. Could it be the ghost of someone who died from a gas leak? I mean, honestly, I don't know. This hmm. one I kind of have trouble communicating with, which is why I thought it might be useful Need for you to guys ask to these questions. Okay, okay, so let's get Ghastly out here. Okay. Ghastly, I choose you against my better judgment. Yeah. <laughs> Gas. Whoa, getting real Whoa. close, Gasly. Wow, Gasly. This dude's Gasly. creepy AF, right? Gasly, wait a second. Gasly, just please stay away from all of us. Don't pass through us. I don't want to be no! slimed. Oh, she went oh, right through me. Oh, oh you've been slimed. God, slimed. I feel, does it look weird? Because I feel like I have You're slime You're covered on in me. ectoplasm. Oh, mm. feel, dang it. And I have an so appointment funky? afterward. I know. I feel very funky. Am I, am I wrong? It looks like it's having a real good time Gasly. doing this. Gasly. I feel like Gasly is enjoying her time out of the ball. Gasly. Oh, okay, so you think Gasly's a girl. Gasly, please keep away from me. These are new Bonobo's jeans. Oh, yeah, sorry. You just called fire to you just now. Nothing like a bully likes more than telling you not to do something. Gasly. Please get her back in the ball. Get her back in the ball. Gasly, return. Gasly. That was too close. Too close for comfort. Now, I think you can keep Gasly. I felt like Gasly had a great time. Yeah. Maybe just have Gasly. Because honestly, I don't know. We don't know. 
know what happens when we die. I mean, I personally think we go with our Heavenly Father, but please don't let me talk about it because I believe <laughs> please, I don't want to no, talk no, about no. it. Church and state. Church and state, state, but please. you know, we don't know for sure what happens, and this is a ghost. This might be preferable to hell. Right? Exactly. I know so, what happens yeah. to Pokemon. Oh, oh <laughs> do they, they become ghastly? They literally cannot die. You oh. take them to a Pokemon Center, and then so they're, they're fine. They're so in prison the for Gasly? life. Look, what? what's this Pokemon Center? <laughs> yeah, this Gasly, sounds, this sounds a ghost. This sounds like an internment camp. A ghost of what? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, well, we don't have time to get into it. We have to get going, but we just have one final feature on the show. It's a little something called Plugs. Thank you. That was I Want to Support You by Mr. Pants. Uh, I think that was Mustard, actually. But uh, all right, guys, what are we plugging? John, uh, Beirut is out this Friday. Beirut out this Friday. With Rosamund Pike. Rosamund Pike, myself, Shea Wiggum, Hmm. uh, a a, a cast of 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 at least three people. Three. (laughs) Um, It's a 42-hour movie. Please plan accordingly. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, I would suggest eating. I would suggest getting a good rest. Yeah. And yeah, then stay sleep up for, that. for like five days before. Sleep for f- at least one Hibernate 42 hour like day. like these bears. Then in. Mm-hmm. Then enjoy it. It's going to be great. I would also remind everyone to please get their taxes won. <laughs> That's right. With, H&R uh, Block. H&R and and Block. That's right. Uh, very, yeah, one uh, week left. Uh, one week left, yeah. Last week, this guys. Is cr- this guys, is crunch it's, time. It's a federal crime. This is the time. This, I mean, this is where you live. This is my. This is my. You know, overtime. Uh-huh. This yeah. is where I'm like. This is exciting, man. I'm. I'm. I'm lining up the field goal. I'm putting it through the uprights. Mm-hmm. If you don't do it, you will be convicted of a federal crime. John, I have some bad news for you. What's that? They got you on film eating that guy's bagel. I categorically deny that. Yeah, it's, it's right there. I film. saw, yeah, I, 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 they released the footage. I will say. <laughs> it was a delicious bagel. Okay, maybe it was worth it. Uh, and by Al- the way, it was half a bagel. <laughs> There's another half. You were eating it like a real monster. Was, a real bagel monster. starving. A monster, you say? <laughs> <laughs> maybe John a, is a Pokemon. A bagamon? <laughs> I'm going to go catch a bagel. Al, what do you have to plug here? Obviously, if you want to fake your own death, uh, please do visit German Craigslist. Comb <laughs> every single ad until you come to the one <laughs> that ends in Gazunite. <laughs> has, has an emoticon followed by Gazunite. <laughs> mm-hmm. No emojis. Uh, and uh, also watch out for that movie. Uh, you know, I mean, maybe in ten years they'll be you know wanting to reboot the emoji movie, and then you can just slip the script to the emoticon movie in there. Why would they go backwards? Well, a know. prequel. First live action. Yeah, it's like the Star Wars prequels. Marjorie, you saved my film. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Marjorie, what are you plugging? Uh, please come to the gates of the Arctic. Um, we don't have roads. Need more than ten thousand people. But this please year. Where do you come. fly into, by the way? If you fly, if you fly into the, if you want to visit, you where would, do you fly? Did someone be a Baracus? You do you not remember? Oh uh, no, you fly into uh, you fly into the airport in Juneau, and then you take a series of of seaplanes. Oh gosh, it's very Freeze hard to seas? get. Guys, let's go. <laughs> yeah, please Ser- come. Come try my brisket. <laughs> um. <laughs> And uh, Dash. Hi, Dash. Grab him. Now accepting all challenges for battles at the closest thing I could find to a stadium here, which is the Staples Center. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to sneak in the Staples. Staples Pentagon, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should I mean, be. Yeah. Yeah. Coming right through that only point of a Pentagon, which is clearly <laughs> the front. The one five. point of a Pentagon <laughs> right through the front of it. Right. I'll be battling anyone there. Winner keeps all the money. <laughs> okay, great. So, no date on that apparently. But uh, let's every close, day. Let's close with the old plug bag. <laughs> Whoa, what a bag! It's time to open it. It's time to open the bag. It's time to open the bag. It's time to open the bag. Open the bag. Open the bag. Ah, so 
so good. Not annoying at all. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I want to thank you, John. Thank you uh, very thank much. Thank you for having look, me, Scott. Look forward to you being a bi-weekly uh, guest on the show. Can't wait. As promised. Uh, Ally Peterson, uh, you know, hope they don't catch you. Oh, I don't think they will. Boom! <laughs> oh, smoke bomb. He's gone. <laughs> well, how does he do that? Is he in the walls? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think that, that is... smoke has some cherry and hickory. <laughs> that is accurate. Oh, wow. Just accurate. Uh, Marjorie, so good to see you. Good luck to you and Dash. Uh, I cannot co-sign what you're up to, but... Uh, okay. All right, we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jessica St. Clair and Lennon Parham here. If you haven't listened to Womp It Up, we've got all brand new episodes. They're airing weekly. Chances are there's about 20,000 episodes for you to listen to on your drive. We've got some of the best comedians in the biz on playing amazing characters. Casey Wilson. Rob Hubel. Paul Shear, Jason Manzukis, Mary Holland. Nick Kroll. Brian Husky. How about Andy Daly? And that's just to name a few. Please join us every week for a new episode of Womp It Up and watch as the Womplerverse expands before your eyes. Hashtag turn around. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.